I've always wanted to make my backyard that special oasis. But problem number one, I don't even know what to do or where to even start. I thought, wouldn't it be cool to get someone from HGTV to help me out? Well, guess what? I got I'm him. Justin and his and name is, is Justin Cave. He's the host like of HGTV's Groundbreakers. Justin says it all starts with a game plan, so he created an amazing landscape design for us to work with, which even included a pergola. But before we could start digging, we had to get down to the basics. Cutting down the swing was fun, but we had to address some safety issues, like marking the utility and irrigation lines. It's been marked, so everything's good to go. I've got some marking paint right here. Um, which is a good landscaping tool. Right. And I want to start spraying out some of the proposed bed space that we've got. Okay. It's part of the prep work, and then we'll start digging it. All right, let's rock it. So we got a whole lot of work to do. Come on, you ready? Let's do it, I'm ready. <laughs> let's do it. When you're single, finding an extra pair of helping hands is always an issue. But I was blessed with a great team of friends and neighbors and coworkers who helped. And I needed it because we literally dug for hours and hours. I was just wanting Christy to get in there and do a little bit of shoveling. This machine's going to save us a lot of time and energy. Just wanted to see her work. <laughs> Even though we had a game plan, it seemed like every hour we faced a new challenge that slowed down the process. But you know, we just had to learn to adjust. It's one of those things. Oh, well, I mean, it's grass. It'll grow it back. It's grass and it can grow back. Finally, the plants arrived. Yay! <laughs> you see, weeks before a shovel even hit the ground, I did a lot of prep work. I met with Eddie Baldry of Enchanted Forest Nursery in Chesapeake, Virginia. He gave me a quick lesson on plants, like the difference between annuals and perennials, or what kind of plants work best in shade and in the sun. It's not rocket science, you know, it's your yard. You know, if it looks good to you, that's the main thing. Even though I'm on a budget, I got a lot of what I wanted, just with a couple of adjustments here and there. We went down on the container size to save on money, but we still got a good height on these. We got about a foot to two foot a year of growth on these trees. It's the end of day one, and we are all exhausted. We did a lot of hard work. We got yeah. the beds prepped. The papers are going in. The guy's got the pergola, in, and it looks great. All the prep work's done from mm -hmm. the patio. We got the plants back here. We've got most of the boulders set. Yeah. We got a lot of people here. We got a good crew. Yeah. And we're getting this thing in. Woohoo! All right. <laughs> Okay, it's day two, and I'm a little sore, a little sunburned, but I'm excited because this is where the fun begins. All right, Justin, teach me, show me. How do I plant? You want to follow the proper planting techniques. Okay. So you stick a container in there, you want the hole to be about twice the width of the container itself. Okay. Okay, another thing the depth of it. that's really important, and that's where a lot of people mess up, is they bury the plant too deep. Oh, okay. So I like to leave about an inch of the crown, and the crown is this area right here, okay. exposed. Now, a lot of these plants will be root bound. So you okay. wanna take it and kinda scratch it up a little. Any dirt that's left in the container, get that in there. You wanna make sure it's nice and straight, okay. like that. You know, and the last thing we're gonna do is water it in. If you don't have any plant knowledge, all you have to do is pull out the tag and read the tag. It'll tell you everything you need to know about the plant. This is ice plant, it blooms all summer, plant it in full sun, it requires uh, good drainage, and it grows about five inches tall, and you wanna space it 18 to 24 inches apart. It's that simple. All right, let's get going. We still have a lot of work to do.